Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Magic the Gathering Arena. And as always, this doesn't show up anything when when I don't hover over a thing over here. I really don't understand what goes on with this recording software and Magic the Gathering. They just kind of has a problem. But anyway, today we are going to have... Um, well, we've got season ending in 22 days. Uh, so I want to try and get onto some constructive ranked stuff. Because I'm bronze tier 2, constructive ranked. I would like to earn myself a few bits and pieces from that. Uh, I've got a new deck that I want to test out. Um, I've been testing a few decks. I tried this. It didn't really work. Miss Calamity. I think you've probably seen that. If you like Magic the Gathering, you've probably seen a Calamity desk. Um, a Cavill... Calavity. A Calavity? It's Calamity. Anyway, it's Calamity. It's a red burn deck. Uh, dark pack. Yeah, yeah. Cavalback. Cavalback is kind of black and red weenies that run on and blow up with a cavalcade. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've been trying to think which one I wanted to play the most. Uh, Tezza Watt is kind of fun. It works in a strange sort of way because I get matched up with other strange janky decks. Uh, but I wanted to see if this Risen Reef deck is going to be quite as good as um, it seems to be used by lots and lots of people. So for a start, the Risen Reef itself, the star of the show, is the star of this set in a way. Oko, the Planeswalker, is also very good and in the same colours. So it would be awesome to add an Oko in here as well. But not in this particular deck, right? It's already going to be broken enough, so not in this deck. This is a very, very true to elemental, elemental deck. Um, we have Nissa who creates elementals. We have Chandra who creates elementals. Um, it also she also deals three damage to each non-elemental creature. Uh, puts an emblem out. Uh, there's the Chandra Acolyte that does elementals and all that kind of stuff, right? Risen Reef is an elemental, and every time an elemental enters the battlefield, so it's very much an elemental-based deck. And then the Locus of the Royal um, is the three colours that we're in. Whenever it enters the battlefield, it deals damage equal to uh, its number of elementals you control. When a land enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on target elemental you control. If you control eight or more lands, draw a card. I will be controlling eight or more lands very soon, and I will have lots of lands that are good. Uh, thanks to Riven Reef and all this synergy that goes on. Leafkin, great for the second turn. Lava Coil, great to get rid of those um, cats on the second turn. Uh, Ember Cat, also great on the second turn for slightly different man uh, means. It's any elemental spell, which there's quite a lot in. A couple of negates. Now, a couple of negates just helps with getting rid of the board wipes. The turn four board wipe. If I get a decent few turns, then a negate turn four board wipe is good right and um, plus there's other things like planeswalkers that we want to get rid of especially if they play an oko or something like that healer of the glade nice and simple little elemental that i can play off the back of just drawing it and shock just removing those simple targets to go on with now my land is a mix of what i've got basically i would like to avoid the gates if possible and get onto the rare lands but I just don't have enough rare lands. Rare forests would be good, right? Anything that says forest on it uh, would be especially very good. Stomping ground. I've only got one copy. I'm going to need three more rares to make that right. Uh, stomping ground for two. That way Nissa's ulti can also fetch those forests as well. Um, and then there's a few others just fit in. And Fabled Passage for finding one colour that I might be missing. And then there's just a few of those colours available to me there it all looks pretty good straightforward and in practice it's been really good as well i'm going to cast red spells blue spells and 20 creatures which again this deck is pretty good at so we shall see so i'm going to go with standard ranked and i'm going to try out the risen reef deck today all righty then let's see what we got from the dauntless the dauntless one um one rank higher than me. That doesn't really make any difference, though. Fabled Passage to get the blue. Two sources of green and a red. Uh, yeah, hopefully draw another red so that we've got Chandra Awakened Inferno. That's a pretty pretty boss 
end game, but not really a very good starting hand, is it? I mean, we could just hope that we work. Now, we need some more start in early game. We've got a Chandra's Ember Cat. That's good. We've got all the colours of mana and a shark and the two same Planeswalkers. So we've actually turned out with a better starting hand. Um, one less mana. And I'm going to lose one of these cards. I'm probably going to drop Chandra. Drop Chandra because it's late. Oh, no, it's the other Chandra, isn't it? Oh, Chandra 3. Drop Nissa. That's dangerous. Dangerous. Uh, <laughs> difficult call I'm going to put Nissa to the bottom because I'm a thrill seeker yes <laughs> I, I've, I don't know I've got red there to spend on an, um, mana uh, elemental or Chandra planeswalker spells so I've got that uh, we'll scry up to see if we can find something We've got another shock. I don't really need a second shock. So we'll go without that. And next. We've got a shock on. And we've got an ember cat on for next turn. We will then have negate up as well. Pretty soon as well. Nothing going on for them. Another shock anyway. Why would it put two shocks together in the deck just like that? And it's technically three shocks in the first, what, 20 cards. Well, technically, ten cards. The first eight cards. Oh, eight cards. Three shots in the first eight cards. That's not on, is it? And now we've got that. I'll gain a life. Thank you. I will uh, bring out Chandra. She's going to go down straight away because of the Gatebreaker Ram. I need double shock. I, I need a lava coil. That would be even better. A lava coil would be much better. But I can block with the Ember Cat and then shock it. So that is going to be my play. Um, it's going to play another another Guild Gate. Why are people still playing Gates? The uh, the main card of the Gates, the Field of the Damned, or Field of the Dead, has disappeared now. Playing this, target creature gets plus two, plus zero, and first strike. Let's negate it. I'm not going to be able to shock... Or double shock the gateway ram anyway. But I will be able to take it out soon enough. Wow, wow, wow. Um, pass the blockers. No blocks. Yep, I'm just going to take five to the face. Because I can. Uh, well, there's something. That's going to be only two damage. I'm going to have to bring out Chandra. Chandra's going to take a hit oh, for me. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Um, I don't have anything other than a negate in my graveyard, so she's not going to do anything there either. It's going to be straight through, but... If they do not attack Chandra, then I will have a very good Omnath Locus of the Roll turn. And potentially get rid of the Gatebreaker Ram as well. So we'll see what they're planning. See what their plan is. They might be expecting that I've got giant growth. Because I've got green open. I've got spells in hand. Could be a giant growth kicking around in there. He's thinking, he's thinking, he's thinking. I could take out the Gatebreaker Ram with a giant growth. I bet that's what they're thinking right now. Plus four, plus four. Or let it through and hit you in the face. Mmm, they don't really know what to do. So we sit back and wait. And we wait for a Risen Reef to come through. Because Risen Reef hasn't shown up yet. And Risen Reef should be here by now. Or maybe they've just decided to go off for a cup of tea. Unable to deal with a tactical decision like this. They literally just want to play a deck that just smashes face. And this is giving them far too many things to think about. I might win just by default. Mm. 
Okay. Let's see. Are they awake? Any sign that they are at their computer, or whether they had to answer the door, or go and put out a fire, a chip pan fire, or the microwave blew up, or their kettle has boiled, or the police are at the door. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with them, but I do know that they're not playing the game right now. Okay, so that's the game over. That's the first victory. Uh, not a very fair victory. Not a great victory. I mean, I could have turned that game around a little bit, but once they've got one of those gatekeeper, uh, gatekeeper rams out, it's very difficult to uh, remove it from the board and keep playing. Let's see who's next. It's Meryl. Hi, Meryl. How you doing? It's Meryl from Sweden. I don't know if she's from Sweden. I have no idea. But it's Meryl. Leafkid Druid turn two. Lava Coil turn two. Negate turn two. We don't have any green sources, but we do have two big hitters. Let's keep it and hope we draw a green source because we do have so many green sources available in this deck that it would be rude for me not to draw a green source very, very soon. Like lots of green red sources. Green red, green blue, gr another red thing. Go on then. We've got another red thing going on. And uh, an island. Okay, so now I've got a shock and a negate up. Ready for whatever comes. Creature or spell of some kind. I've got it. I've got them one stage behind them. The Ori the Oriator. Yes, we're going we're gonna to shock that. Because that's just life gain. And we don't like life gain. We'll get rid. Then with Fabled Passage, we'll go and get a green go get a green because we got lots of green thank you get a basic green land and then we're ready for next turn still got a lava coil up as well still got a negate up as well see what they play uh-huh well that's only a little death touch lifelink i will leafkin druid i know it's got death touch but it's only one lifelink i can get back from that having the green mana is much more important Two lava coils this time, and the Omnath. Omnath can actually come down next turn and take out the vampire. Not both of them, but one of them. That's at least something. Um, no blocks. You can have that one. We'll have another green source. We'll have a Locus of the Roll. And we'll destroy that thing there. Yay! Well, we're not going to attack for zero. That's just daft. <clears throat> I know I coulda. I coulda done the land afterwards. That's the lava coil thing now. No blocks of that. You can have that one damage. They gain one life. But then I lava coil it. Because I'm not having that available to you ever. Thank you. And then we'll put a 1-1 counter on this creature. And all attack. Boom, boom. That's got rid of that life that you gain so much. Alright. Child of the Night, more life gain. And whenever a creature dies, it deals one damage and you gain one life. Okay. Not a big deal. You can have those. Um, we've got another lava coil. Do I want to get rid of that? Yes. Another lava coil to get rid of that. Yep. We will have another druid to block the child of the night. And we'll go in with both of those, actually. Yeah. We'll go in with both of those. Because child of the night would die. 17 all against the lifelink deck. That's another land, gain another life, and their big spell of the day is nothing special. Okay, they're going to take, they're going to gain that life. I'll block the Child of the Night, still get two points of life back, but I don't take two points of damage. So they get three back overall, I lose one overall, I can deal with that. Stomping Ground is a red source. Stomping Ground, I'm going to have it because I want to play... Nissa. Um, let's put a 1 1 counter on that druid. Yeah, that's me. Putting 1 1 counters 
on these little dudes so they can at least block a child of the night. Yeah. Now Chandra, and it comes. Boom, 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 And I think we're going to kick off with a deal three damage to each non-elemental creature. Kaboom! And wipe out the board before attacking in. Board wipe. The mortified target creature. Aw. That means I'm going to hit you for two. <laughs> oh well, better that than nothing, eh? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. I can enter tap today. Thank you. Um, flying over. We get a plus to it. Um, next damage to target creature permanent dealt this way would die this turn exile it instead I won't be doing that now um, flying lifelink I'm going to get two damage in I can't block so there's no point and they can't kill so there's no point they could have just blocked it to be fair and Chandra the awakened inferno will just do a minus three next turn and uh, remove their board again they're going to be a creature feature deck aren't they Unless they've got Planeswalker removing, Chand Chandra Awakened Inferno is going to Ownage. Uh, let's draw a card, lose a life. Let's negate it. And then it just goes to the graveyard instead of going into exile as well. Oh, my days. Look at that. I had a negate in hand. Nobody expected the negate in hand. Not with the Chandra deck. Oh, ow. You're playing with fire here. Uh, let us... Well, we're going to have to cycle up, give him another emblem, <laughs> no and attack pressure. in. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, and do I keep that in hand? I'm going to keep that in hand. I'm going to keep that in hand and see what they think. Because they might think it's a negate. They might think it's something super. They just drew a land, so it's nothing special. They're going to hit Chandra again. But it doesn't get rid of the emblems, right? You should be hitting me seven times. Instead of Chandra seven times. If you want to fight, you got it. You got it. You want to fight, you got it. Let's go. All attack. Two more damage to you, and get you another emblem up. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? That's three damage and four on the board. What have you got? It's got to keep Chandra off killing the aerialist. Or gain some life, so Chandra can't kill the aerialist. Or just give up on seven minutes. Yay! A second victory for the Risen Reef. And so I have literally called this deck the Risen Reef. Um, and Kaisar may be the first one to actually receive a Risen Reef. Two Omnath of the... No. Just no. Give me a Risen Reef. The name of the deck is Risen Reef. Why am I not getting a Risen Reef? This has got a healer in the green, a shock and an amber cat in, and then a negate. Because why not? I've kept the negate a few times. I think I'm going to drop it this time. Because I don't have the blue source. So, wouldn't work, would it? Let's uh, mountain so I can shock if I need to. Because um, this is a red fire brand. Jada. Jada. Fire, red fire brand. Um, so likelihood is they're playing a red deck wins to rank up a bit. Red deck wins is the standard for ranking up quickly. Oh, we got another nobody at the computer person here. We got another AFK. Nope, they're there. They're there. Playing black. Okay. Black with anybody to attack? Nope. Okay. There's the Leafkin. Let's throw that out. We still keep the shock up. Leafkin on curve would have been nice, but shock on curve is sometimes nicer, especially with a mono black. You never know. Put something out there. It's a haste. Off they run. Human Knight with Menace. Good, good. And shock it. Shock in. Kept it up. Looking good. Right, so now I'll have a stomping ground. I will... Pay the two life. I will have a healer, which gives me three life. And a Leafkin Druid, which gives me a mana, mana, mana. 
Not a bad turn three, if I do say so myself. They are going to have running at me night decks. At the beginning of upkeep, each player draws a card and loses one life. It's pretty cool, but it does have menace. I could have played a Leafkin Druid or two. <laughs> the Leafkin Druid, yeah, it would have been struggling to block, wouldn't I? I'd have been struggling to block. Block, block, D, block, block. Are they stuck on two land? Three land, okay. They are they are on three land. Draw a card, lose life, you put a number of cards in your hand. That would be nasty. Don't do that. Don't do that one, people. Don't do that one. A 1-1 one, one death touch. And we get a wizard reef, but we've got no blue. Got a wizard reef, but no blue land. So, what do we do? Well, Healer of the Glade has finished the job. So, Foul Mare Knight. Wow, that's a few. I would really like another Chandra now just to kill anything that's not elemental. Uh, I'm going to take that challenge and block it off. Both of them die. That's fine. I didn't need it anyway. I do not have a blue source for the Risen Reef. The Risen Reef deck without the Risen Reefs is very difficult. But now at least I've got two Leafkin Druids, which means I can block the Menace. Uh, and the Menace can't kill. So there we go. We draw a card and lose a life. Good. I got a green source. We'll just keep that Stormfist Crusader around now. And hopefully it will kill them one turn before it kills me. Yes. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, they gained a life back. Okay, we're going to die at an equal rate at the moment. <laughs> uh, we've got a two two flyer coming in over the top. If they attack with the Crusader that's got Menace, I have blocked with both Leafkin Druids and nothing happens. And uh, now they've got a 2-1 Livelinker coming in. They are gaining the advantage. The upper hand is theirs. What you gonna do? You're gonna attack with the Flyer. Yep, thought so. Pass that. Can't do anything with that. And... My turn. Another green land. And now tells. Okay, well. Do I attack in with the Ember Cat? Yeah, I really don't need that red mana for anything. I've got enough red mana. So we'll attack in for the two. They block it, they die, or they don't block it. Yeah, a trade is fine. I'm happy with a trade. I draw another non blue land. Oh my days. Game. Really? Real bad shuffle. I get a Risen Reef, but no blue. At least I threw away the negate. That would have been another dead card in my hand right now. Okay, so Order of Midnight is coming in there. I will block there, block there. And let two through. Ember Cleave on what? On that, making it a three, so it's going to kill one of those. Okay. An Ember Cleave. Yep. Nobody expects an Ember Cleave. Um, equip creature, plus one, plus one, and double strike. So they even get first strike. And then double strike. Oh, my days. Oh, nice play. Nice. i got to say nice to that one. It was a good play. And Fabled Passage, finally. But then it's still a turn too late. Get the blue mana source that I'm looking for. Thank you. And then a Risen Reef. <clears throat> yeah, it's a Risen Reef. Yay. Make sure it's not... Oh, it is another land. Wow. Risen Reef. You look so good right now. Going to look slightly better in a minute. Leafkin Druid. I might be able to go wide in a minute. Not as wide as them, though. Four one-one counters on it. Attacks each turn if able. Yeah, I'm not blocking either of those. Wow. That's a lot of damage coming in. I can heal it slightly with a healer of the glade for three life. And a Risen Reef trigger. Might draw me into something else. Another land. The Druid comes out. Am I going to draw into another land? Triggered ability. Chandra. 
Oh, the wrong one. Um, let's let's play her anyway because I get two triggers off the Risen Reef. It's going to be very difficult to think about what's going on now. I've got to double block everything. Chandra, you need more control. Let's get two elementals Just onto the battlefield. Burn. Get two Risen Reef triggers. Start going wide, but it might be too late now. This would be a great turn four or five. Destroy target anyway. creature or planeswalker. Too late. It's already done. These little guys are great. Oh, that Chandra the Awakening is awesome, though, isn't it? Um, okay, let's put that onto play. No attacks. Okay, so we've got this one next turn. We can board wipe next turn. So we've got to survive this eight damage coming at us. We've got to survive that. And then we can board wipe everything but our own. That's got a plus one, plus one counter on it. That's what makes that a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, prevent that and remove a single plus one, plus one counter from it. So I need to block that with the 1-2. There's a lot of stuff going on here. This draw a card, lose a life thing is a problem as well, isn't it? Okay. So, that's six damage. Seven damage. Eight. Oh, that's eight damage just there. So I'm going to have to double block that. And that's seven coming through. Um, <clears throat> okay, so if we block there and block there with those two. Risen Reef blocks that that's the best I can do that's three damage to me yeah three damage to me and Earth Swarm Knight will get something off is that going to be over the top okay that's first strike yeah trampled over the top well done. It was the only thing I could do, really, though. Then Chandra was coming down and wiping the board afterwards. Um, and then I would have maybe have had better options rebuilding. But no, not to be. Not that game. So I always dislike ending an episode on a defeat. But we went up a couple of uh, brackets on the tier. That's nice enough, isn't it? We went up a couple of brackets on the bronze tier. I'll play some more. And try and get some more content for you for next week. Let's see if we can tweak the deck a little bit before now and then. right? So thank you very much for watching today's episode. The Friday Night Magic Edition of MTG Arena 2020. Uh, M20. M20. I will see you for some more during the week hopefully. And then again on Friday. Tune in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.